ultimate challenge is comment down below what you think of my first ever get ready with me video so you could be featured in my next video um today's like challenge is let's get this video to 30 likes so like the video so we could get to our daily goal for today I have a new video for you guys today so today is going to be my first get ready with me video and it's gonna be a little chit chat in it I'm gonna have a little story time in here probably maybe I don't know depending how the voiceover goes so anyways it's going to be my first um, get ready with me so if you guys like this video just let me know and um, yeah I like playing with makeup I am not a make I am not a makeup artist, I am not a beauty guru or whatever, I just like playing with makeup and this is the look that I came up with today. This look reminds me a lot of like, it's like an amped up version of how I used to do my makeup in high school. If you guys want me to do a video like that, let me know down, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but it's kind of like a chola look, but it's like more amped up and it looks a little bit better than I used to do it. Um, or it kind of reminds me of like Morticia, like Morticia from the Adams Family, like how like her makeup looked. Like I don't know, like I'm feeling it. Um, I know it's not fall yet, but I'm like already like ready for fall, and that's where this look kind of came up with the lips and like nails are kind of dark. But this kind of like reminds me of Morticia, or like an amped up version of my cholo look that I used to do in high school. So. Yeah, before I get talking anymore, let's get into this video because I don't know how long it's going to be, so let's get into this video. Cap my face with the ALF Poreless Primer. I'm going to prime my face, get it ready for my foundation, and I'm just putting it on the places I need it. Now I'm letting it dry a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX concealer, the green one, the HD concealer. I'm going to... Um, clear up. I'm gonna put it on the my acne spots and the places where I am red so I can conceal all of that and then I'm going to blend it all out. I'm going to I'm blending it with my beauty blender so um, I'm glad I found this concealer because I have bad problems with my redness because of my acne. Now I'm gonna go in with the MAC um, concealer. I don't know what shade it is. <laughs> I don't have it on me right now, but I am just covering up where I used the um, NYX concealer, so I could clean it. Um, so I could be more look more like my face before I put um, foundation on. And I'm just blending it all together. Excuse my camera; it freaked out when I put extra lights in there. Um, so now I'm gonna go in there with the infallible. Um, foundation from Maybelline and I'm just putting the foundation all over my face going with one layer and I'm going to do some bronzer on my face so I could warm up my face and make me look like I'm a little bit tanned <laughs> and I'm just putting the bronzer all over my face I'm just blending it out real good um, I don't conceal too much, I just bronze, so this is the only thing I use. Um, I'm slowly learning how to do other things in makeup. <laughs> so now I'm going to use a MAC um, pressed powder to set my face. I'm setting my face with that pressed powder. And then I use a darker um, MAC um, pressed powder on the places where I bronze to set it to. Now I'm going to use the MAC blush, the Star Trek collection. I'm going to use that as my blush because that's my favorite blush. Uh, too bad they don't have that blush no more because they're just a collection. Now I'm going on to my eyebrows. I have that little um, palette, Alpha Girl palette that I got from Shop Miss A and I've been using that for my eyebrows. I like using... Um, I like using um, eyeshadow better to do my eyebrows because it makes it look more natural and you could tell because um, my other eye wasn't done you could tell how good my eyebrow looks better now. Um, I let them grow out because they used to be very thin and not really growing and I just use the powder to fill in, in the spaces that I need um, eyebrow in and um, that's all I need. And my eyebrows have come a long way. <laughs> now I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm prepping my eyes with um, a MAC um, 
matte um gel um, I use it for my face too, but I use it on my eyes. It helps too to keep my eyes matte because my eyelids are greasy. Sometimes they get like greasy at the end of the day. And I'm using an Alpha Girl um, palette. I used a white um, base for my base, and then I went in with the Alf, um, the Alf um, Aladdin um, Jasmine palette. And I went in with like a turquoise blue, and then I'm just using. The different shades of blue and a little bit of gray to blend it in and make it look good. I'm not that too good with um, eyeshadow, but I've been practicing. So um, I went in with uh, like a white color to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going in with the LA Color um, liquid eyeliner that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm doing my eyes now. I'm doing a winged cap um, liner. Um, I take my time on that because I want it perfect. <laughs> now I'm curling my eyelashes and then I'm going to go with the Maybelline Mascara. And I'm just doing my eyelashes so I could get them. I Everyday look, I use just mascara and that's it. Um, when I want to go out, then I put fake um, eyelashes. Then I'm going in with an LA Colors um, pencil um, liner with black. Now I'm doing my lips. I bought these lip liners on Amazon. They're from I like, think China or whatever, but um, I got real cheap and I'm using that one to line my lips. It's like a brownish color. It's looking like it's red, but it's not. It's a brown color. Um, but I'm lining my lips and then I'm filling them in so I could put the LA Colors um, lipstick. It's a dark matte lipstick um so we are going to do my hair now so i took my hair down out of my bun uh so now i'm going to detangle my hair so i could get it ready for straightening my hair i'm just detangling from the from the ends to the root and i'm just detangling my hair my hair was kind of tangled so yeah so now i am going to separate my hair um, we're going to separate my hair and you're going to need some clips to separate your hair. And the straightener I'm going to be using is the Revlon straightener. Um, it has a heat controlling thing but I like it. Um, I had another one from Revlon, it was a green one and I loved that straightener so um, that one gave out so I had to buy another one and I've been really liking this one. And as you can see right now, all I'm doing is getting little pieces of sections of my hair and straightening my hair from root to end and after I strand each um, hair I'll brush my hair again to make sure it's no tangles because my hair tangles um, easily right after it air dries so I'm just straightening my hair as you can tell <laughs> from root from root to end um, and then I brush through the hair again to make sure there's no tangles now we're going to move to the next side of my face <laughs> I mean that we're gonna move to the next side of my hair <laughs> and we're just gonna do the same process and separate my hair untangle each section of the hair separate the hair and straighten and I usually go a couple passes um, through my hair I do it pretty quickly straightening is the fastest way for me to do my hair since my hair is long I that's majority of the time my hair is either up in a ponytail in my natural hair um, in my natural curls or it's straightened um, my hair takes forever to straighten because I like the tight curls and sometimes my curls they don't last so I just majority of the time you'll just see me with my natural beachy wavy hair or me straight or my hair up in a ponytail or in a bun so this is the end of this clip video i hope you guys liked it give this video a like um comment down below so you could be featured in my next video don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you could be featured in my next video um i will see you guys next time so bye